So I like I like fattest player, man. I like picking the heaviest player. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, hopefully we get some beast, man. Hopefully we get like Vince Wilfork. So someone said you pick the middle coach. You um, I like three four defenses, but um, the fattest and that's that's the move. The fattest lowest. Fattest kind of is slowest. Holy! <laughs> Thank God we picked the fattest because I'm pretty sure 99k1 short is the fattest guy out here. <laughs> and he's probably the slowest too. Um, ooh! Yo, please tell me CJ Mosley weighs more than Michael Bennett. Someone, someone please tell me Michael Bennett's a skinny ass dude and CJ Mosley outweighs him. Come on, man. Come on, I'm about to bust out my Google here. Alright, so Michael Bennett weights. Michael Bennett, 274. CJ Mosley's not beating that. Oh, CJ Mosley's 238. We really get it. Mm. Mm. Damn it, man. To our word, man. We got to pass up on Mosley. Fattest players. That, that's how it rocks. That's how it rocks. Yo, this draft is crazy. I'm pretty sure you're probably the fattest guy here. Are we just going to end up drafting a bunch of defense alignment, man? Is that really what we're going to do with this fattest player draft? Crap, man. I should have thought about this before. Mario Williams is weight before we move on here. Mario Williams. 292? Yo, Mario Williams is packing pounds. Low key almost 300 and no one even noticed. Um, I'm assuming Kikakua over here is probably the heaviest. All right, Dan Williams. 327? Yo. Oh, man, big. That's BJ Raji. Oh, TJ Lang was 318. TJ, TJ Lang almost got him. And TJ Cummings, 304. We got some fat asses here, man. These guys individually would win most, most, most rounds. But, um, Dan Williams, he's got, he's got that one in the bag. Um, Muhor, actually, Fletcher Cox it has to be packing some pounds. That dude is big and great. Where is he going? Ah, here we go. No. Why are you giving me... William Colston, man. I thought we were going to get someone that wasn't a defense alignment. Alex Mack. Ooh, Sheldon Richardson might outweigh him. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's going to be close. Alex Mack. He is 311. Sheldon Richardson cannot be over 311. We got to get ourselves a center here. 294. Let's go, Alex Mack. Just because we, we, we got already enough defense alignment easily. This is a pretty good draft, by the way. Josh Sitton or Sebastian Vollmer? Josh Sitton is 318. Sebastian Vollmer. I'm, pro I'm misspelling all these dudes' names. Thank God for autocorrect. Oh, Sebastian Vollmer is 320. He just beat out Sitton. I'm really down the running back. He's about to outweigh Julius Thomas, 205. All right, Julius Thomas. Welcome to the club, man. <laughs> Great. I mean, right, friends? Like, every single round, they give me a lot. Fuck, man pretend like Denard doesn't even exist i really doubt that dude weighs more than 240 um let's see how do you feel about odell raging against josh norman yo this is the legend round already thank god we're getting a receiver man we don't have one of those all right heinz ward's got the most right now at 205 and the other dude had like 190 all right so heinz ward is our legend well this should be fun yo what is up everybody that, what you just saw, was the fattest player draft. We took the heaviest player at each position, and that resulted in us getting a few offense alignment and definitely a lot of defense alignment. Thankfully, one of those defense alignment is 99 overall positional hero K1 short of the Panthers. That... The whole live, um, the game was from a live stream we did the other night, including this game you guys see here. As you see, my opponent returns the opening kickoff, so we definitely are equipped to stop the run game unless my opponent pitches to the outside and we don't exactly have speed. But our secondary is full of base goals. We didn't draft a single secondary player, so that's definitely going to be a point of concern for us. Hopefully, my opponent doesn't go deep. As you see, he's looking to throw the ball here, and that's a nice pass breakup. And even our linebacking core isn't all that great. We have uh, likes of Mario Williams playing at the linebacking spots for us. As you see, third down and five, big play here. Time to try to get off the field, but my opponent finds the open man for a first down. You see, he has the legendary Colin Kaepernick at quarterback. And once again, those stretch plays pretty hard to stop with the um, collection of players we have. The offensive side, we should have a decent running game. We just don't have a good running back. And then we do have Heinz Ward and Julius Thomas to throw the ball to. As you see, Michael Bennett stuck playing linebacker. We have 
so much defense alignment depth as you see my opponent runs the ball now that's our strength right there he is not going to run the ball in us third down big play throwing and picked off and look who got the pick mario williams who to my surprise almost weighs 300 pounds you see we get a um personal foul here or a delay game penalty as we run the ball to the outside but that's the problem James Stars can't exactly make those cutbacks with his slow speed thankfully Julius Thomas can break tackles still on his feet and look at Julius go to 40 the 30 trying to be hawked down but Tom is out of gas all the way what a play and then that is exactly what we needed right there. You wouldn't expect the fattest player draft to get a big play like that. I believe 92 yards for a touchdown. But hey, that works. And oh, that doesn't work right there. Putting your hands in the cookie jar. Nah, it works sometimes, but more often than not, something you don't want to do is you see Ryan Fitzpatrick. We definitely didn't get a draft of quarterback since there's not really any heavy quarterbacks in the league. You see second and one looking to throw to the outside. And a nice catch by Julius Thomas. He's definitely one of our main threats along with Heinz where we got to get them involved in the game at the one yard line fullback dive good just QB sneak that one in but in honor of the fattest player draft why not go in with the fullback Mike Tolbert as you see our kickoff coverage might be a little bit weak since we don't have too much speed especially the backup spot so hopefully we can last as you see he attacks the secondary deep downfield and that is the concern for us we can't allow him to do that but that was Larry Fitzgerald on the catch next play lobbing it up one on one and it's caught it's caught but it's out of bounds didn't get both feet in bounds and that is not a touchdown instead here he is now thankfully for us he's throwing a lot of these short passes and this plays to not exactly our strength but doesn't go at our weakness right there as that ball is broken up we got away with a couple ones right there fourth down and three he comes out passing Kaepernick on the run. Oh, what a catch right there across the body. More importantly, what a throw. I don't know how Kaepernick got that one off accurately as he goes in the middle of the field. And once again, when he's attacking our secondary, he is making us pay, especially on those deep post routes as he throws short right there. At this point, we just got to guard the end zone. Second and goal. Kaepernick with time, leaving the pocket. And Colin Kaepernick shedding Williams and getting in the end zone. And that's what we don't want. We don't want Colin Kaepernick getting loose. We need to get some pass rush because that's what our team is all about is Tavon Austin spin move and Austin the little man making the biggest play of the game kick return touchdown and we get seven points right back he worked hard for his and all we did was get a simple kick return considering we get ball coming out of half what a big play right there now we just got to make sure we don't give up a big play play a little bit conservative right here if he wants a drag route he gets a drag route he wants to drag out the whole way he can we're just you know betting that he can't do it he or he won't do it as you see he throws a pass in the middle of the field once again those passes in the middle of the field are killing us but on the next play k1 short there he is first impact play is a sack second impact play is a sack on second down and my opponent is going to call hurry up here even though he has a timeout left three seconds just throwing it up and it's picked off by Kenny Phillips even if we came down with it as long as it wasn't a touchdown um the clock was gonna run out run out of and a half so um we still get our 14 point lead and now we get Paul coming out of half started third quarter a chance to really control this game but you see the screen pass goes nowhere second down blitz not caught by Chris Polk at the backfield should have hit Julius Thomas there third down big play Fitzpatrick looking throwing Austin oh no catch ball bounces out of bounds and that's Three and out right there for us. Not a good drive because now we bring our shaky defense out. Hopefully, K1 short and those guys can make some big plays for us as he attacks the flats. That's also a little bit of a problem since we don't exactly have speed with Michael Bennett and Mario Williams amongst our linemen as he goes deep. This time, we use it a post right there. We can't let him attack that. We'll have to give up the short routes. Just, you know... Bend but don't break as that's an unfortunate break there for him. Fourth down and five. Big play. He's going for that midfield. Kaepernick looking. Throwing. And Mario Williams again. Who would have thought Mario Williams the unsung hero of the game. Second user pick. That dude he's got some ball locking skills out there man we picked up a vertical route and then just got that one as we throw it on second down three two james starts hitting multiple spin moves a little bit too out of control right there but does get the first down at this point we don't want to turn it over but we do want to look for heinz ward one-on-one -on -one. touchdown 
That's a mismatch, Heinz Ward. Whatever you got in the slot, probably not guarding Heinz Ward, especially in draft champions. As my opponent returns the ball to the 20-yard line. Next play, Kaepernick, and the roof is falling apart on this one. Carlos Rogers picking off the screen pass, and the roof is completely busted because my opponent rage quits out the game after this. The fat players get a W. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the big guys getting out there and making plays. Subscribe for more Man 16 Ultimate Team Draft Champions. Champions, whatever you like, and I'll catch you guys next time.